What hey, what's good? Be? What should we eat? My bad. My bad. <laughs> you keep that. You keep that in there. <laughs> hey, what's good, y'all? It's Jake Rico, and welcome back to another No Guidance podcast. And today I'm here with. You already know, man. Prince Jamani, man. Prince Jamani. Pronounce it right, please. I'm tired of people never pronounce my name. Not Prince Jamini. Not Prince Jamani. <laughs> Prince Jamani. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, what's good with you? How you How you feeling today? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, Z. Uh, I'm feeling, man. I'm feeling, feeling all right, man. I'm blessed, man. I'm here. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people, are, and I'm not even over here, so I'm glad I'm here. You know, a lot of people can't make it. A lot of people didn't wake up today, so. I'm glad I'm, I'm here and alive. Oh, no. Feeling, bro? No, I feel you. No, I'm feeling great. I'm yeah. feeling great. You know, still going through my injury and shit. But yeah, so what, what happened? I never knew what happened. Well, it was playing, ba- I was playing basketball and shit, and the person who was guarding me, hella aggressive and shit. Fouled the fuck out you, know? Nah, he didn't foul me, bro. He, he went for the rebound, I was right underneath the rim. Came down with his elbow right Ooh. on my back, right on my back. Jeez. And yeah, I've just been handling it. Are you good at basketball? Me? Yeah. No? Nah. <laughs> oh, wow. Nah, nah, bro. But when I get on the court, I'm, I'm gonna be doing some shit. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. for you, so what you do, like threes, or what you do, man? I, I'm a, I don't, I don't do handles, bro. But I do want to get into handling. Don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah, carry every type shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, usually, I'm usually just a spot up because you know I'm the smaller, I'm small, so like yeah. people just pass out, shoot the three or whatever you know. Yeah. You're doing. So, yeah. I'm horrible at basketball. Really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. The what? Guy I'm strictly arts, bro. I'm mm-hmm. not the guy for sports. I'm not good at any sport. Mm-hmm. Baseball probably. That's just fun to play. But like mm-hmm. every other sport. I mean, every, I mean, every black person is somewhat good at basketball just mm-hmm. because, you know, mm-hmm. like, me, like, yeah, nah, like, I'm, like, the last person you want to pick on basketball. Bro. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you don't play with, your like, your friends or anything like that? All my friends are hoopers. All my friends what? are athletes, and I'm just the only nigga that's, like, a rapper. Like, what? All, like, yeah, Jeremy, Jamari, Drew, uh, Gabe, Petro, they're all athletes. Uh-huh. The whole YWF are all athletes. Damn. Yeah. They all, like, Jeremy's, like, super good at, uh, he made all West Coast. Uh, mm-hmm. Football, super good. What? Jamari run uh on like like Battle of Broadway, like mm-hmm. just like they have achievements. Like Jamari, Jeremy have achievements. Drew is, I think it's going back to college right now for basketball. But mm-hmm. he was one of them niggas in basketball. Petro, you, you do not want to see him in basketball. He was, <laughs> at the Y, he's like one of them niggas. Bro. Damn, Everybody's scared to play him. Damn, I might need to see them. Bro. Yeah, and Gabe is just tall as shit. Yeah, so, like, yeah. He dunks on niggas for real. Really? Yeah. Oh my. And it never is me. Yeah, <laughs> but when I was you no, know, when I was in LA, people were freaking banging out, freaking hella aggressive, freaking they're they're all that man. Yeah, they go crazy. Go yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like the best supers probably come from New York though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh-huh. like that's just like New York has got like one of the best supers. I like yeah. the best football football players come from Florida, and or Texas, and then the best supers just come from fucking New York. Bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me and my me and my friends or or me and Barada and you know Chris Sadie and all of them we're planning to go on a trip to New York in the summer. Like, you just get a big neck or something. Like, my bad. <laughs> no, no, no. We go to New, we're planning a trip to go to New York during the summer. Yeah. Oh, work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Business trip. Business. Yeah. That's yeah. What's up? Try to get some music videos, dance videos, hoop yeah. over there too. You know, you know, there's competition yeah. over there. You hear me? Yeah, there's bro. There's competition everywhere. Bro. Mm-hmm. Seattle has a really lot of competition. Not even Seattle. Washington. Really? Washington is a lot of competition, bro. Really? Where? I feel like. Everett, what? There's a lot of like. Everett, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, nobody. That. That's the thing. I'm glad I'm on this podcast. Nobody really knows about Everett, bro. Bro, you might need, might as well talk about it. What's good? What's over there, man? Yep, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go <laughs> ahead. Everett, bro. And I don't know if people are gonna be in the comments. Oh, that's Tweakersville. Da, 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 da. Uh-huh. But bro, like Everett, bro, has a lot of fucking talent, bro. Mm-hmm. Like Seattle. Yeah, has I talent. see. I see. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You know, there's you know, the, the South Shadow niggas. You know, there's uh, obviously there's Make a Million. There's uh. Mike, Mike Jack, Jack uh-huh. uh, who else? I'm mean, 2K, obviously. I mean, 2 pay 2K, obviously. Mm-hmm. You know, he's killing that shit right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2000, baby, is he from Seattle? Um, sure, I don't know. To be and then there's Highway, sure. 2009, Highway, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the niggas are killing. Don't get me wrong, the niggas are killing that shit, right? Mm-hmm. And they're yeah. from Seattle, but and every bro, we have so much like overlooked talent, bro. Uh-huh. Obviously, there's me. There's Jerron Laurent. He's hella fucking good. Mm-hmm. There's three times. You feel me? Uh, Gentry three times, bro. Obviously, Apollo, he's from Marysville, but it's still like the North, you know? Yeah, yeah. You had uh, Cardiac here. Yeah, I did. I yeah, did, yeah. He's from the North, too. He's uh-huh. from, uh, I want to say Marysville as well. Yeah, because of uh, Jay Apollo and all that. Yeah, uh-huh. you feel me? Uh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of niggas from, from um, even uh, fucking, not even just rappers, like, Rare's from Everett. 
or I think Lake Stevens. You feel mm-hmm. me? You never heard of Rare Visuals? No. Oh, Rare Visuals? Yeah. Isn't that, that's the guy who who records yeah. the videos, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's from, uh, I think, Lake Stevens or mm-hmm. Everett, like, you know, within that little north, north end scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got, does Nash live over there too? I have no idea about mm-hmm. Nash, but I mm-hmm. think Nash, uh, I think he might be a Seattle nigga. Mm-hmm. But okay. nevertheless, I'm just saying, like, you There's gotta, a lot of like talent in the north see, as well, bro. See, yeah. A lot of talent. That's overlooked, as you yeah, said. Yeah, over mm-hmm. fucking looked. Mm-hmm. Like, motherfucker. Uh, for what reason? I have no idea. Maybe because it's not as big as Seattle, you know? Maybe. The hype, yeah, the hype isn't as big as mm-hmm. Seattle. And we have a bad reputation. Mm-hmm. Every, like, as a city, like, I used to, like, fucking. Shit, what am I getting? <laughs> uh, quarter pounder. Is that, is that good you ever had a quarter pounder before? Uh, maybe once in my life. <laughs> I got a quarter pounder. Have you ever had a quarter pounder? Is it good? Keep it putting no hands, no fingers, and that's it. Just one, just one meal. We're not spending a thousand dollars on fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so yeah, like like I was saying, like Ever has a bad reputation. I'm not even from Ever. Like I'm, I'm from LA. Uh huh. But I, right. I claim Ever because Ever is like the underdog. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's from fucking LA. You know, like whenever you hear a rapper about, oh, I'm not even from, I'm from LA or I'm from Texas or I'm from Uber. Like mm-hmm. I notice, like nobody fucking claims Ever. You know, mm-hmm. Jeff, me and Jeff. Jeff Paulo kind of, does, yeah. Yeah, me and Jeff Paulo kind of, kind of like the first people. Like, I mean, and uh, rest in peace, Donnie Ducey. I think I, uh, you know, to do my research, I think I saw uh, an interview of him, of him saying, "Yeah, we the northern rappers." Da 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 da. You feel me? So mm-hmm. Donnie Ducey definitely started claiming the north uh, before it was popular, and then me and Jeff Paulo, you know, started claiming the north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody really claims it. It has a bad reputation. Like people just think everybody here. Yeah. Cool. Everything. Uh, you, get, you get a spike and have that ordered here. Yeah. That's cool, super. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like, it's a bad reputation. A lot, a lot of fucking crackheads out there. It's like not ghetto, but it is. Mm. It's weird. It's like my name is Earl kind of ghetto. You ever saw that movie? I mean, no. that, that TV show. No, I haven't. It's like. It's not. It's not ghetto because like I, like in the hood it's like it's real hood politics. So it's not really hood politics in every. Mm-hmm. But like, it's still like not as classy as other you know okay, okay. cities. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like Bellevue or fucking you know not not even as good as Linwood. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's 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 a lot to it. You know, being from the north and not taking the north seriously. But I mean, who who's gonna do it? You know, mm-hmm. and that's not me and. Yeah, Paolo, Dron Laurent, uh, three times and who else, you know? So you might as well be the might first as well. one. Exactly, you know I mean? bro. Because, like, mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not saying, I don't want people, I want to be different as possible. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. As possible. Oh, uh-huh, of like, course. Whoever listens to my music knows that, like, there isn't, I don't sound like nobody. Mm-hmm. And that's on purpose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I heard it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, and I like that, too. And I feel like that's why my music doesn't really push as much. Because, like, because it's not, you know, yeah, it's trendy. Yeah, something you have to get used to. Yeah, yeah. They have to get used to it. Like, mm-hmm. it's either people, it's either going like this, like, when you're different, people either fuck with it right away or it takes them, like, more time. To yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, but definitely a lot, a lot of Northern rappers are killing it. Three times killing it. Mm-hmm. John Ryan, like, they're, he's so fucking different and so dumb. Mm-hmm. And obviously, Apollo just. He's the king of the north right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you go to the north and you ask who's that, it's gonna be a pop. Uh-huh. You know? Damn, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Like when you go to the south, who's the king of the south? I think it's Tacoma. I'm talking about just like south and just rappers, just mm-hmm. from Seattle and oh, that okay. point on. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. From like just a viewer standpoint. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout, shout out, shout out all the rappers, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess you're not talking about music. What made you, or like, when did, or like, how did you even start making music? How did I start? That's a great question. Um, mm-hmm. How did I start? Uh, like, all together, or like, recording my first song? Mm, maybe like, let's start like beforehand, like before like okay. making music. Like, before making music, mm-hmm. why did I even want to do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My dad is is a uh, recording artist. Is singer. What? Yeah, from Belize. Whoa, Belize, where, where's that? That's like right under like Guatemala, right mm, under like Mexico, like Central America. Mm-hmm. We're at the black people who speak Spanish, mm-hmm. you know? So okay, yeah, okay. so like, you, I'm Afro-Latina. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm like, the, yeah. So basically the black, people, the, the black people that speak Spanish, that's what I am. So, okay. bada boom, bada bing. My dad been doing music since I was, before I was born, mm-hmm. you know? And um, my grandma, she did music, you know, a little bit, rest in peace to her. My mom is a dancer. I, I had a lot of music around, you mm. know, growing up. Yeah, I you see. Know what I'm, I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. 
even my auntie, my auntie Tasia, she can sing. She's a, she's a gospel singer, very good, mm. very not even good, like phenomenal. Her all of her daughters can sing, mm -hmm. so it's just like. I'm just blessed with the ability of being around Being music. around it, being surrounded by it. By I music, you. yeah. Mm -hmm. so it was kind of inevitable. So at first, I didn't want to be a fucking, like, I didn't want to be a rapper at first. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be a dancer like you. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to dance. But you, you are know? great at dancing. I'm going I'm to I'm compliment you. I'm going to give you that, bro. I appreciate that. Not as good as you. Now, you go stupid. Okay. You get the whole party <laughs> turned up, bro. Is there uh, order? You, you wait for your order? <laughs> does, does it look great? Yeah. 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 Thank you. But yeah, um... No, nah, but thank you. Should I should appreciate it. Continue? Okay. I'm hella hungry. No, don't worry. Don't Is worry. this the correct address? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I would have to use my, my face for Apple. I need to pay for it. <laughs> Here you go. Did you want anything, bro? Whoa. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you want, I'll get him a chicken. That's all. Yeah, I got you, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you. No problem. I'm getting a chicken for my boy. Yeah, that's it. Or you brought me on the, on the podcast. <laughs> I will get you a big chicken. No, I appreciate that. Not for real. Thank you. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I just grew up a lot, a, around uh, mm -hmm. music my whole life, you know? So mm -hmm. at first I wanted to dance, and but then I think like around like sixth grade, sixth, seventh grade, I fell in love with poetry. No, no, I'm sorry. Fourth Ooh, grade, I'm sorry. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Fourth grade, I fell in love with poetry. Right, like not even like with music. I just like, you know, uh, I like how words can move someone. You know, can make someone feel away. Yeah, and how, way. how and how important words work. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't give a fuck what people say. Words hurt, nigga. I they do. Fuck. Like yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah. Like yeah, of course, you know, you get somebody beat up, might hurt, physical hurt, but like. Some people, words, you know, six times, but I like, know words mean a lot, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I understand. So, you know, growing up, I'm like, you know, ooh, ooh. I, I like spoken word. And then I started doing poetry at first. I wasn't even a rapper. I was just doing poetry, just writing about, you know, what I saw. And this means this mean in LA at the other time, too. I didn't go out here until I was like, I want to say 16, 15 years old. Okay. So I moved to Washington. About, about high school. Okay. Yeah, like, like sophomore year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, so before this mean in LA, just writing poetry, right? And then I wrote my first ever song. This shit was garbage. I never even recorded it. I wrote, I wrote my first ever song. And I, and I liked how like I liked how it sounded because I, I just would copy what I would hear on the radio. Yeah, and yeah. I liked how it sounded like what I, what it was on the radio. Mm -hmm, you know? Yeah. So that's how I started. That's how I like you know. That's how I started. You know. Okay, I, I could play with it, but I was still a dancer at heart. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So like, I want to say like a twelve like. 12, turning 13, like my eighth grade year, I I decided, okay, I'm gonna rap for my, my school talent show. And my mom probably Whoa, does. talent show? Yeah, oh, I was, I, I've been in talent shows since I was a little nigga, but as a dancer. Yeah, you know, yeah. So I always, like, Damn. every single time there was a talent show at my school, I always was on the line. Damn, that's guts. That's yeah, guts. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because I always wanted to, you know, I knew my place was on stage, you know? Uh -huh. So, so yeah, so. My mom probably has a video somewhere. I forgot, I forgot mm -hmm. the video, but I um, performed my first time ever rapping, right? And uh, my, my my peers, you know, they laughed at it first, you know. I would laugh at me too. But they liked it though, mm -hmm. you know? I wasn't good, but I was I had the potential to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like, I was like, you know what? That's how I decided when I was like 12, turning 13, like 12 and a half, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this rap shit for real. I wanna be a rapper. Mm -hmm. So. Eighth grade, you know, summer, I was just writing hella songs, you know, just looking up free beats and shit, just looking it up. Yeah, I recorded yeah. a song, yeah, and this would be just, just writing and rapping. Just writing, yeah. And I'd like show like my friends or mm -hmm. show, you know, my, my dad or my mom, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, so that was that. And this is me in LA. So um, unfortunately, my dad went to jail like around like, you know, I was uh, 14, 15, like, you know, mm -hmm. sophomore year, mm -hmm. you know, and um. You want surprise, bro? Oh <laughs> well, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Not for real. You're not gonna say no. Oh <laughs> uh, man, but yeah, but um, so boom, right? So my dad went to jail, and that was that. So um, mm -hmm. I had a lot to write about, and like I went, I was going through with my mom too. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a lot of shit was going through with my mom, going through with my dad, and I flew out here because my dad was in jail, and my dad thought it was safe for me in LA by myself. 
You know, you know, the gang violence, there's police brutality. There's, there's a lot of influences that people can influence me to do. Because mm -hmm. around that age, 14, 15, that's the age where you decide, okay, I'm going to be a gang banger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, so my yeah. dad was like, before the Ivy. You're finding chance. yourself. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. He's like, you know what, go to Nice Soul Everett. You know, I, I, out of the hood, go to the birds where you fit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so I went to um, Everett and lived with my grandma. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so I was, I, at the time, I wasn't even recording. I was just fucking around, just writing shit. Mm -hmm. I met this dude named Dawi. Shout out him. We don't talk anymore, but shout out Dawi. He took me to my first ever like studio. Like I mean, I went to a studio with my dad before I was young, but like mm -hmm. going to like, a studio like for me, like without my dad there, mm -hmm. without no adults there. So this is just you by yourself. Yeah, it's me and Dawi mm -hmm. and uh, Batoy. Uh, this, this is a group of friends I had when I first got out here. We yeah. just called each other uh, YBK. Mm -hmm. And YBK, um, I see. It's for young black kings. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we were just you know just fucking around. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He he knows I was I used to rap, I used to show my rap, but he rapping, but Toy used to rap for fun. He already had clout, you know, so he was like, fuck it, let's just go to the studio. So he invited him to my first ever like session for myself. And there are but Toy and uh, we were already working on the song already. And uh they're like, you wanna hop on? I was like, fuck it, cool. And I like my first ever like rapping in the booth, like all that shit, like I just spit my first ever like verse. Mm -hmm. And it was like all one take too. And that was the first and last time I ever did one take on the song. Whoa! Yeah, whoa! It was all on one. your first song? Yeah. Oh my! And, that, and that's when I realized. And I heard myself because I listened to my song. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, like uh -huh. this is what I want to do. You feel me? This I want. Oh, right there. Yeah. I decided, really? Yeah. Really? Because it, it for some things like for some passions like it takes a while for you to like to build that love for it. You know? Yeah. And for you to like right when you make that song, that's when that love for it. Like yeah. sprouts, like yeah, that's like it was, it was it was natural because like it was natural because I always knew I wanted to do something to entertain people, mm -hmm. whether it's comedy. Some people say I'm funny. You are, you are. <laughs> your skits. I see your music videos. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, whether it's acting. People like the it's too late uh, slash free video. Uh -huh, like, where it's yeah. like I can act or I knew I had something to do with something. Uh -huh. I didn't know what it was gonna be. Yeah, yeah. So. It was gonna be music, or it was gonna be something entertaining somebody. Yeah, yeah. Because music and being on stage happened to be like my gift, mm -hmm. you know. So it wasn't hard to tell, you know. It was, it was almost like love at first sight. And I mm -hmm. heard my first like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, my voice off the track and everything, and hearing it. I was always play off fucking Google Drive. I'm like, okay, yeah. And then from that on, I just that's why I took it serious. I'm like, you know what? I want to be a rapper, rapper for mm -hmm. real. For real. And my dad gave me my name. He was like, be Prince Jamani, because that's my real name. That's your real name? Yeah, I mean, Prince is obviously my nickname, mm -hmm. but like, Jamani is my real name. Oh, okay, okay. So he was like, be that, be who you are. So from that point on, that's when I started rapping. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And then I'm, I'm still learning, because I, I was 16 when I did my yeah, first 16, ever. Yeah, 16, yeah. So like, I'm 19 now, it's only three years. So. What, you're 19? Yeah. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. So, you know, I'm still mm -hmm. learning, but yeah, that's when I decided for life. Like, I, decided, I decided I wanted to be a rapper. When I was 12, but I decided for life, this is what I'm going to do. Like, this is what I'm going to spend my life doing mm. at 16. No, that's cool. Yeah. I really like that. I really like how you were able to just find it. I don't know. Cause yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, if it's really your passion and if it's really for you, it, it's going to be an inevitable. You mm. know? Interesting. Like, yeah. the way, I'm, I'm a spiritual person, so like, God is going to lead you in the right direction mm -hmm. for, for your destiny, you know? Mm, interesting. So, interesting. you know, it's just... How how it is? I mean, you're super good at dancing. That's not yeah. because of overnight. That's because it's in you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know it's in you. Yeah. You're, you're you're that guy. Yeah. And every time you dance, you shine. Really? You feel me? Like every everybody in the room can see the star in you when you dance or whenever really? you do whatever you love. You really? feel me? I yeah, didn't bro. Know that. You know? I didn't know that. Yeah. Look, if, when you get a chance, bro. Like when you look like at the, uh, what you're when you're dancing. Look at the other people's reactions, bro. You could tell everybody's smiling. Everybody's. You know, because yeah. it's like that's your purpose. Interesting. No, you know, I like that. Yeah. But the thing is, it's not. It wasn't always like that, to be honest with you. Yeah. I would, like even like I'm 21 now. Yeah. But my birthday was February. 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 Yeah. Okay. And like before this injury, you know, before all that, I was dancing on stage. That's why I met you. Yeah. I still felt judged whenever, you know, ever whenever I dance. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I love dancing. It was my passion, but I just felt like people were. You know, just looking at me in a weird way. Yeah. Maybe that's just in my head. Of course, it was all in my head. To be yeah. With you, you know, but and and I and I'll tell you why you think like that. Even I think like that when I'm whenever I'm doing music. Like 
when I when I be recording my songs, like it's hard to like when you love something so much and you want to be the best at something, it's hard to not overthink. Cause you care so much about it. So like yeah. some niggas go in the studio, you know, and just rap monotone or just rap whatever, or just say bullshit mm-hmm. just because and they're not overthinking, like they don't care enough about the music, you know? Mm-hmm. And it works and if it works for them, it works for them, fine, whatever. That's not none of my business. But and then there's some artists that go in there and say, Nah, this has to be it. Because that this 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 is their ticket out. Or they want to change music. They want to be something in the music. They don't just want to be known as a rapper like me. I don't want to just be known as a nigga that can rap. I want to no, be known. I understand. You know? I understand. I just don't even want to be just be known as a dancer. You Exa- know? That, that's why you overthink because yeah. it's like, okay, you're thinking of, you're trying to conquer the world as you should though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, like small fries don't really get to the, to the big position mm-hmm. without thinking that. Mm-hmm. You know, so like, I, that's why I feel like overthinking is like, it's a good and bad thing. Now it's yeah. bad because you know, obviously, you overthink. You get, you can get sad, and then yeah, it stops yeah. you. But when you overthink, yeah. it kind of progresses you. In a way, yeah. yeah, yeah, because it's like you're thinking about everything instead mm-hmm. of just a, the, the small battle. You're thinking about okay, what can I do as as a as a person, as a brand, as whatever I am? How can I go further? Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's the goal. You know, mm-hmm. even like with, with Chris City, Barada, all them, like you can tell like. You can tell everybody's uh shout out, shout out to them by the way. They're not overthinking, but you could tell like when you you guys the circle is like you could tell you guys are progressing. You know, cuz you guys work with Kid Steve too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to him too. I think I saw him at the Broader show. I didn't even know that was him until like he like took Broder off his show? mask. Which one? Not Broader show, uh the shoot. Remember we did uh Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't even notice that was In him. Oasis, yeah. Yeah, I didn't yeah. even notice that was him, bro. Really? It's so he had, he had the like the shicey mask yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Oh shit." Uh-huh. But like you could tell like everybody is like working towards something, mm-hmm. you know, and that that's the whole point of like overthinking, like because if if Rada or whoever that if they would never overthought, they wouldn't have thought of okay, would it look good for us to go to Oasis or would it look good for us to go over to that mm-hmm. park? You you get you get what I'm going oh, with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure, man. For sure. Nah, but but for real, like it took. Like it took me to get hurt to realize that, you know. Yeah. You know, you know how a lot of people, you know, some, some, you know, they're doing bad things in their life and shit. Yeah. Maybe in some movies as well, um, and then say like a death in their family happens, and that's when they're like, oh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stop doing all this. That's when they. That's what shit realize, clicking them, huh? Yeah. That's when yeah. they're like, bro, I need to stop doing all this. Let me do that. That it was basically the same thing for me, but instead of you know death in my family, it was basically me getting hurt, me getting injured. That's what it took for me to realize, bro. I shouldn't care what people judge, you know? I want to do this dancing thing for me, and I want to... Oh, my God. Yeah, speak you know, on I it. Speak just, on it, man. Speak bro, on I it. Just want, I just want to be able to shine. Not necessarily shine, but I want also, I want to be able to show people that that I'm, you know, that I'm really passionate about this. And that, yeah. And that I just love dancing, and I just want people to smile with me. Yeah. With me. With I don't want to be the only one smiling, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't want to be the only one smiling. Hey, I feel that 100%, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know how good it feels to make people smile, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, whenever I perform, like, thank God I have this effect on people. But, like, I've never got, like, a bad reaction from me performing. Really? Like, after I got off the stage, like, mm-hmm. even if my music was ass, even if I didn't have, like, no clout, even if I didn't have, like, no nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Every single time after I performed... A lot of like people usually come to me and say you did a great job, da da da. You made me happy. I just have I, I know how to you know how to make people have fun, mm-hmm. and that's the uh, you can answer that please. I'm I'm on the thing. Uh, just just tell them I'm on the podcast. You know what's up? I'm on the podcast. Yeah, with, with, yeah. Come on now, they know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but uh, like like on some real shit, like making people happy, bro, is. That's the goal in life. But making yourself happy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Put get yourself me wrong. first, you know. But like, of course, yeah. yeah, of course. But like, I feel like the goal, like, like, how, like, it made me think. We said people smiling with you. That, that's that's the purpose, bro. Cause mm. like, every, we should be doing mm. stuff that we love. What's the point of like smiling alone, bro? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What's the point of smiling? And, and also, what's the point of smiling at somebody else's expense? Mm. You know. Yeah. So like, it's it's it, it, it's gonna happen regardless, bro. Mm. Regardless, because, like, not, the more I think about it, it's, like, mm-hmm. people can see that off you. Like, I'm just, like, I'm just talking, like, as, like, somebody who watches you. Because I watch you every time we're around. Like, it happens, bro. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> you people smile because of you. You get really? the. I don't think you notice. You get the whole fucking shit lit, bro. I, I Whenever know, you're man. in the circle, it's fucking lit, bro. No, thank you, thank you. Like real shit. Yeah. It's lit as shit. Nobody. <sighs> <laughs> Nobody does that as hard as it, you feel me? Like, real shit. Real yeah. shit. You feel me? No, thank and then you. once you do it, it encourages other people to come That's in. That's what and dance, I like. Bro. bro, I do not like <laughs> dancing alone. I'm sorry, bro. That's just me. Because, I, like I said, I want other people to be able to feel the energy whenever they dance or whenever I dance. I want I want to help push someone to, you know, you know, to get into that circle too. You know? Yeah, feel bro. that same energy. I don't want to be selfish. I don't want all this energy. To and they can't help. To, to be honest, bro, it's like you can't help but to feel that energy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's inevitable to not feel the energy that comes off of you, bro. Mm -hmm. Real shit. No, thank you. Real thank shit. You. <laughs> every time you go to, I'm telling you, bro, every single show you go to, it's lit automatically. Mm. No, Real shit. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I really do want to make an impact on people. You know, yeah, and I really want people to feel my presence. You know, feel. You know. Same. That's exactly how yeah. I feel with and my that's music, what, bro. No, I was just about to talk about you when you did your first performance. When I saw you on there, oh my god! Like the way you were trying to interact with the crowd, make people. You even jumped. I don't know if you you jumped into the circle. You had you were uh, climbing. Or I don't know. You were riding on someone's <laughs> yeah. neck. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> like that's crazy. I've never seen that in my life, bro. Yeah, like, bro. When I whenever I perform, I don't want it to feel like a performance. If that makes sense. Just you on stage. Yeah, I don't ever want I don't ever want somebody to come to my show or a show that, that I'm that I'm in and feel like they're coming to watch Prince Jamani. I want them to come like they're having they're, they're, like they're coming to a fun ass party. Like mm -hmm. that's that, that's my goal. I want everybody to have fun and dance and feel like it's a party. Cause like, yeah, you can see somebody have, like, you know, perform and everything, but it's like, what's the point of that? Like I'd rather see instead of a big ass mosh pit, I'd rather see people dancing. Having fun, yeah, grooving yeah. with their sisters, or grooving um, with their brothers, family. So like, that's why, I like, when I perform, I include people because we're all having fun. I'm having fun, you having fun. It's all a party. Mm -hmm. My performances is a, just a big ass party, bro. Mm -hmm. That's that's my goal. No, man. for real. Like you were doing, I know you were jumping into the crowd doing mosh pits. You were, yeah. You were trying to interact with the crowd. You said this side, say this. And this yeah. Side. Oh, you even had the crowd freaking battling each other. That's hard. Yeah, that's I, hard. I try and like you know, I occasionally get twerked on, you know, and I <laughs> just <laughs> like just, hey, just like that one <laughs> like two days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Shout, I don't even know her name, but shout out to her. She was like sixty-two years old. Bro. Oh, yeah. That's but crazy. Z, Z was looking at my manager was looking at me like, what the... F but anyways, like, I, I do that on purpose, bro, because, like, I, I, I personally pull out people that I know are shy. Really? Yeah. Mm, like, I, I know, I, 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 at my last show, like, it's, it's on my Instagram, like, you see me saying, oh, come here, and it's like a random girl, she had like a red jacket or whatever, you know, she uh was twerking on me or whatever. I did that on purpose because, like, I don't... I want people... That's in the crowd or whatever that came to see me, to see me, to have fun with me. Because without them in the crowd, I'm not, I'm just a You're nigga not, on stage. Yeah. You feel me? No, yeah, yeah. I so, feel, like, I you. on purpose, bro, like, I, I, I wanted to feel like a big ass party. That's the only way people are gonna have fun. Because who the fuck wants to just stand there the whole fucking 20 minutes watch. or the whole, yeah. and just like be like, oh, yeah, cool. But, like, who wants to do that? Mm -hmm. You know, people came to these concerts to have fun. And support, but mainly have fun, yeah, you know? Yeah. People pay these money. And people, people pay money. They do. They do. And, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but the artists, well, I can't speak all artists. I don't get paid from them shits. You feel me? So, it's not like I'm benefiting from just standing there. Mm -hmm. I'm not benefiting from just, you know, like, oh, we were just saying my shit and just walking up and down the stage or whatever. I'm not benefiting from that, bro. So, while I'm here... I'm going to have fun, too. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm not, not getting paid, so what the fuck else am I going to do? You feel me? So, mm -hmm. yeah, like, when I perform, bro, like, my biggest goal is for everybody to be, like, I needed that. I'm so glad I, that happened. You mm -hmm. feel me? I, want, I don't want people to feel robbed of their experience, you know? Mm, interesting. I yeah. like that. Even like the DJ, you. like, I'm, like... I'll, be, I'll, I'll bring DJ Chef Curry, shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, like, Chef come Curry. jump with me, my nigga. Oh. Like, we're all, ha it's our, it's oh, yeah, our performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's, yeah, it's right, all right. of us. We're all having fun, bro. Because uh -huh. not like that, bro. Like, tomorrow's in promise, bro. I really like that. I really like that. You know, so we need to have fun while we can. Mm -hmm. No, because I never really understood that. People would always say that, you know? Yeah. And I never understood it, too, yeah. until my grandma died. That's what I'm saying. You know? Yeah. So I was like, damn, like, it's really like tomorrow's really not 
ever pro- like nobody knows when their last day is. Mm-hmm. So what's the point of you know being scared? And that's the thing too. Like yeah. I'm, I get nervous all the time, but like I'm never scared. There's a difference. Like nervous is there's nerves oh, going yeah. around. There's yeah, jitters, yeah. but yeah. being there's no point of being scared, bro. Cause like why not? Why not you? Why not Jericho? Mm-hmm. Am I saying your name right? Yeah, Jericho. Yeah. 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 Why, why not Jericho? Why not? Prince Shimani, why not Jay Apollo? Why not Jerron Laurent? Why not three times? Why not YWF? You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah. why not these people? Why not you? Mm-hmm. You know, you only get one life, and I don't want to be fucking 20 something thinking, like, damn, I could have did that. Yeah, you there's know? regrets that come in, you know? Is that the food? Hey, my bad, bro. That shit, no, I can smell that McDonald's from here, don't worry, bro. Don't worry. Is it, let me take it in here? No. It's, it's on the way? Is it on the way? Oh, okay. You ever she's on the way, my boy? Yeah, you yeah, like some fries? Let me get you some fries, bro. You having a good conversation, my boy? <laughs> yeah. This me right here? Yeah. This mine? With some fries, my boy. Oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah, for it. For sure, man, for sure. It's a party, man. We having a <laughs> chat, man. <laughs> we chatting. But, yeah, like I was saying, like, tomorrow's in promise, bro. And on top of that, like, it takes people that think like that to change the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> I believe that, too. That's the thing. I just realized that, like, a couple a couple of days ago, maybe even a week ago. Yeah. It's crazy how I just realized that. Yeah, bro, for real. Hey, quick side note. Do you remember when they had, like, the little Travis Scott fucking uh, McDonald's thing? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. That shit was so fucking garbage, bro. That yeah, shit was it was not a, good. It was not good. It was, like, I'm bacon sorry. with fucking, like, barbecue sauce on it. Yeah, I don't know. That shit was like not it. good. <laughs> hey, what about have you had the have you had the uh, the, the saweetie meal too or no? Sa- I tried that oh, one. Oh yeah, um, nah, I didn't try that. You didn't? Yeah. I didn't try that one either. Yeah, I don't. I don't be eating fast fast food like that. That's why. I'm the opposite of you. That's all I eat is fast food, bro. <laughs> really? I'm not good at cooking. Really? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna not cook good at noodles. Cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, you know the, the easy shit. I yeah, think, okay. hot dogs and shit. You feel uh, me? Mm. But yeah, cooking, cooking. Like I'm not good at that. Mm. What I'm, do you eat? Me. Um, you know, I, 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 I still live with my parents, so. Me too. You know, so I just be eating, you know, Asian food, basically, you know. Whatever Where are you from? Uh, I'm Filipino. So mm. my, my parents, they original, or they, they were born, raised in the Philippines, so. I saw this, uh, this, this, uh, this, like, meme on TikTok. Mm-hmm. They said, like, the Philippines were, like, the black people of, like, the Asian community. Is that true? Black people of Asian community? I don't know, to be honest. What's good, bro? Yeah, that that's yours, my man. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. That that's his. Yeah. What did he say? I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> oh, thank you. But how did you know I rap? Oh, I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that is that uh Jericho's in there? But um, so yeah, so like you know like how like, there's like different like. How people are treated within different communities, mm. like you know, obviously black people are treated kind of the worst in certain communities. Like I heard, like in the Asian community, like that. Well, this is just a meme. You could tell me what you think, but like the Philippines are kind of like treated like the worst, or, like as like they're not like, Asian. Like is not that, Asian. Yeah, like they're like looked at like not Asian. To be honest, I don't be keeping track of news <laughs> over there. So, but you know, I'm I'm a rep my Philip my Philippines though. What struggles come with being Filipino? Is there any like struggles that people might like might not know? Struggles of being Filipino, Whoa. or like like negative stereotypes of being Filipino that nobody I mean, might not know. I feel know? like the the easy ones, not necessarily like Filipino, but like I got glasses. People think I'm smart, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. So, but other than that, like. Like other than that, like there's not real. I don't think there's ne- necessarily like negativity towards them. Maybe there's some that in the news that I've never seen, but like I don't know. So like growing up Filipino, like what did you notice? Like as a Filipino man, you know, like is there anything that like you seen that that you're treated differently because you're Filipino or because you're Asian or? Oh, uh, I used to growing up. I w- I I used to live in Seattle. Mm-hmm. So and I'm around the Rainier Beach area, mm. and around there, there's a lot of Filipinos, and you know, a lot of you know, it's mo- mainly like the black com- community over there. Mm-hmm. You know, Filipinos. It's mainly over there. So 
I was mainly around a lot of other Filipinos, so I don't think I was treated different within there. Like, everybody loved me, you know? Yeah. So I don't think I was ever treated differently just because I was Filipino, you know? Maybe that's just because my experience, I never was treated, you know? Maybe there was, like, I mean, there's some times where I was called short, you know? I mean, same. (laughs) Me too. You know what I mean? She called me short all the time. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of girls. Do you ever get problems getting getting girls because you're short? I do. I know I do, but do you? Oh, um, I don't. I don't really talk to girls. To be honest with you, you don't. Why yeah, not? I've, Just to focus on this, on your goals or something. Yeah, I really had. I really had like a bad one. So a bad a relationship. Yeah, bad. I'm one, sorry so. to hear that, man. Yeah, that'll, so. that'll break somebody. Yeah, yeah, and it definitely broke me. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm still recovering. Not gonna lie. So I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, so. I'm really just trying to focus on myself. I'm I'm 21. Like I'm really not wor- too worried about a girl right now. You know, probably like. That's the way to go, bro. I was thinking like twenty five, maybe even thirty, bro. Like, I'm not gonna get I'll, married until I'm like probably thirty, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like saw, you got your whole twenties. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I'm gonna meet so much more people. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm I'm five two, so like I'm five eight. I'm about to say five yeah, seven. I'm five eight, so you I know, a lot. You know, like oh my god, five. T- I was hella short. I was always the shortest kid. Maybe like third grade, I was the. Sh- I was the second shortest. I was always the second shortest. Really? Yeah. Really? How tall are you? I'm five eight. Five eight, and you were the shortest. That's crazy. Yeah. I was second shortest. That's crazy. I, I, like, I was always like this. All like thank God, it's not not thank God, but like there's always somebody shorter than me. So I was like, but like nah, nigga. Like if if that person wasn't there, I would have been the shortest. Mm-hmm. But like I'm not the tallest. Obviously, I'm not the tallest, but. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I don't know what the fuck going on these days. But a lot of girls are fucking tall as shit these days. They do, they do. Like fucking, like mm. they be my height and shit. Yeah, and I taller. Mean, <laughs> like, I mean, bro, I'm five two, so of course there's gonna be hella girls. You know, I basically have like a small percentage. You know, yeah. basically, as you go up, you're gonna have a higher percentage of girls that you can talk to. Basically, you know? yeah, but the girls I don't really care about that shit because they're yeah, mature. Yeah, yeah, but me being this height, you know, there's not really too much for me, but. My, I went my whole life like thinking, damn, I'm not gonna get any girls. Damn, damn, you know. Hating but at the myself. same time, Kevin Hart's like fucking five something. He's he's, five, he's five four, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like height matters. Like height matters to to a certain degree. Like mm-hmm. height matters when how do I explain? Like height matters when they don't care about you. You know, like only reason people care about you is when you do something for them. Oh, I see. You know? It's that give, give and take, basically. Yeah, like, Kevin Hart gets any girl he wants because he puts smiles on people's faces. He makes people laugh. Mm-hmm. You feel me? He gives people a good time. So that's why girls can look over. Okay, well, he's 5'4", uh, but whatever. Yeah. But let yeah. it be regular fucking Carl from down the street that's fucking 4'9". <laughs> four, four They're like, the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I like, mean, I mean. You know? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Growing up, I was very... Very insecure about my Me height. too. I'm Very just going to give up my height too. Really? Yeah. Really? Give I me would, some, man. Short I, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that. I wouldn't ever think that. I have a know? short coming. I'm out of a short. <laughs> I have a song coming out called Blow the Short King. Mm. It's, 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 mm. it's, it's going to come out. It's going to be definitely fire. Right? Y'all stay tuned for that. But oh, definitely. That's That song, it's fun to listen to, but it's for my short niggas, bro. Because mm. I'm just, you know, just like how girls, you know, with their weight. They'll self empowerment. So with short niggas, I we I need to yeah we need to have a song for us too, nigga. Yeah, you yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know, nothing wrong to my tall niggas. You know what I mean? But it's our time to shine, nigga. <laughs> oh no, no, I understand that. I understand that. But like I was, I'm like I said, like growing up, I was very jealous, very insecure. Oh, um, and it, I know exactly how you yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. And it, it it didn't take me until like. Like I said, until my injury, to be like, bro, I'm tired Fuck of being, all that. Yeah. I'm tired of being insecure. I'm tired of being jealous. I just want to be able to live my life and you know bring people smiles, bro. Me you too, know? bro. That's that's my main goal, bro. Is to make people happy, like on my music, bro. Like, mm-hmm. sorry to swallow around. No, don't, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> my main goal, bro. My main purpose or whatever. Is to make people happy, bro. Like. Mm-hmm. If you guys listen to my songs, if you guys listen, like, see me live performance, like, oh, yeah. you guys can tell that that's off me, bro. And I got a lot of people who don't like me, but it's all good, like. Really? It's all good, yeah. Well, I mean, that's just, like that's me. just life, to be honest. It, yeah, yeah, and, and it life. took me until now to realize that I that's can't. That's what I'm saying. That's I can't what I'm saying. please every fucking body. Exactly, and I went my whole life thinking, damn, I should be nice to people, you know? I want to be yeah. nice to everyone. And, like, yeah. that's the way life should be, bro, because, like, on some real shit, like, who has time for it to be, to be negative, bro? Because we all trying to make it. Mm-hmm. 
Like, everybody that's in Washington, bro, like, well, I can't speak to everybody that's in Washington. Yeah. The, the only thing I can, I can speak on is the northern scene. That's, that's what I mean. I'm in yeah. the northern scene, you know? Mm-hmm. We all trying to make it, bro. So what's the point of being negative? You know, like, what's the point of being not loving to each other? You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying I say I love you every time, every time a nigga talk to you, but, like, I don't see a point of beefing with no, with no other artist or beefing with no other person, period. Cause, like, there's no point of that, bro. I'm trying to make it. Like, I got real goals to achieve. Yeah, yeah. That's just distracting me. If I beef, if I put... If putting, I, if I, yeah. You're like... that's. I think that it's negative energy, bro. You're wasting mm-hmm. your energy. Instead of putting your energy towards... And wasting positive. time. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, and I'm wasting time on that shit. Like, what's the point of that shit, bro? Mm. We all trying to make... We only got one life to live. No matter if we believe in Allah, uh, um, Jesus Christ, Rastafari, um, if we're fucking Catholic, or whatever, bro, we only have one life, bro. We all answer to one person. Yeah. You know, so it's like, I don't, I don't, nah, that beef is just out the fucking door, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, whoever wants to beef is fucking stupid, because wasting your time. Mm-hmm. Whoever, oh, yeah, how about this? Whoever wants to beef for me is wasting their damn time. Cause yeah, I'm focused yeah. on music. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna forget that we're beefing. <laughs> you know, cause my my mind is so fucking focused on music. Yeah, on music. Yeah, on something. Real shit. On something bigger than you know. This and on top of that, I'm not perfect. I'm still growing. You know. Exactly. exactly. You know, and I yeah. just I just live and learn. No, yeah. You know, real no, shit. No, that's crazy because I went my whole life thinking, damn, I gotta be perfect. You know, I gotta be always perfect. Always gotta make people laugh. You know. I feel like that. That's like everybody, bro. Everybody has a certain standard that they hold, that the society holds them to. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's a societal problem. Everybody, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Everybody has to have the fucking Jordans. Everybody has to have the BB Simmons or the Gucci or the Louis or everybody has to have X amount of followers. Or but I feel like everybody reaches that point where they're like, excuse me, they're like, fuck it. You know, whether it's now or later, everybody will reach that point where it's like, fuck. It. You know, yeah. and everybody wants to be perfect. Everybody wants to be that. Even me, I, I, I'm a victim of wanting to be perfect yeah, all the yeah, time. I, yeah, yeah, You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But perfect is all about what, what it is to you. What's perfect to you? Mm, you know? Interesting. Like, interesting, yeah. what's perfect to, to Jericho? If, 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 I, yeah, like, okay, let me kind of, not read it in my words, but let me ponder more on that. Like, perfect is all in the, you know, it's just like how beauty is in the, behind, the eyes of the beholder. Mm. You understand me? So, like, yeah. Perfect to you may not be perfect to somebody else, but who gives a fuck? Because it's your life, it's your eyes, and it's your world. Mm. You feel me? And the, the 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 more we don't focus on what people think of us, the better our mental capacity would be. No, oh, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Now, can you say it again? Well, which part? <laughs> to be honest, all of it. I don't think I understood it the first time. You really understand it? Yeah. So, like, as long as it's perfect to Jericho, that's all that matters. You feel me? Because who cares if it's not perfect to them? You don't live their life. They don't live your life. They're not oh, in your yeah, world. Oh, yeah, you just got to focus on yourself. You know? you know? But, like, even, like, trying to be perfect is all about what you want to be perfect. It's all about but what you, you think, think it is. Yeah, but you can. I don't think you can ever be perfect, though. You can. To you. Perfect whoa. is whatever you think it is. Whoa. Now, now you catch what whoa, I'm saying? Whoa. You can be perfect because of whatever you think perfect is. You know? Like, That's it's just, just like preferences, right? Like, it's interesting. some niggas like skinny minis. That's a perfect woman to them. Some niggas like thick-ass girls. BBWs, that's perfect to them. You see what I'm saying? Perfect okay. is all about what's perfect to you. As long okay. as it's perfect to you, then it's perfect. If that makes sense, you know? No. Yeah. Damn. No, that kind of hit. That kind of hit, bro. Real shit, man. And Damn. it takes it takes to stumble. It takes to cry. It takes to hurt to, to understand oh, yeah. that, that, understand. that epiphany, you know? Uh-huh. Damn. You can be perfect? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> perfect is a state of mind. <laughs> Real shit. No, I feel you. I feel you. Wait, hold on. Let me uh, change the How's it going, Z? You know what I'm saying? Has anybody ate with you on a podcast yet? Has anybody ate with you on a podcast yet? No, this is my first one. Eating on the podcast? Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Or not necessarily the opportunity, but thank you for...
for um, like being my first one, I guess. Yeah, I got you, man. Took like your virginity. Are you good, Z? Uh, we were all hungry, huh? <laughs> what? So we were all hungry, huh? Alright, there we go. But, um, I guess moving past that, or, yeah, moving past that, yeah. um, what do you want, like, people to feel when you make your music? Um, inside? Yeah, or just anything, you know? Okay. <laughs> right. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. I want people to feel free. Mm. That's what I feel when I do my mm. when I do my music. I'm 100 percent Chris Shamani. I'm 100 percent me. Mm -hmm. You know. So I want people to listen to my music and feel like they're complete selves. Like mm. they don't like they don't have to be hard. They don't have to be soft. They don't have to be rich. They don't have to be poor. They don't have to be nothing. They can just be 100 percent themselves. And they feel my, they want them, I want them to feel completely free. Like they can feel however they want to feel to the music. Mm. You know, there is no cap, there is no nothing, there is no stereotype. Listen, my music, mm. you, can be, you can be whoever you want to be. I want, mm. to, I want, I want the type of fan base that anybody can be my fan. Gangsters, lawyers, fucking doctors, teachers, anybody can be my fan. You know? Yeah. Emo alt people, you know, hood niggas, street niggas, gay niggas. Not like that, but. Like mm, literally, yeah. like keeping it blunt, lesbian, female, like anybody can be my fan. My own my music to apply or to hit different to every single body, mm -hmm. you know. So I want people to feel free, completely free, mm -hmm. happy. I, I mean, I rap, I rap about real shit, you know, about, about my about my past and my trauma and everything. But like, I want them to feel like a relief. Mm -hmm. Some shit like that. A bad day, they can listen to my song and feel better. That's a great message. That's a great message. Of course. I know. I know a lot of. I know a lot of artists want that too. Mm -hmm. like, deep down, every deep down, bro. Every artist wants that. Every artist wants their fans or whoever just to be happy, listen to their music, mm -hmm. be excited, you know. And like my music is different. Every single song that comes out is different. Oh that yeah, I've seen that. You're not. You're. You don't. You're not necessarily sticking to one lane. Like you have. Yeah. Bro, like you have like so many different, you like bounce, bounce yeah, everywhere. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you feel me? That's on purpose. That, that I want, I want that in itself to be a genre. If that makes sense, and not like, Ooh. yeah, you know, like a genre to do whatever. Whoa, so you can feel whatever. You, yeah, yeah like, what, what would you call it? What would you call it? It's a good ass question. I don't <laughs> what would you call it? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what I would call it. Maybe free music. I don't know. <laughs> true. Maybe you can be the first one to yeah make that genre. Who knows? Yeah, I would try, bro. Like mm -hmm. I would call it probably like free, free music. Mm hmm. Freedom. Free to do whatever you want without being judged. Nothing. Freedom. You know. Mm hmm. That's all it is. When I'm in the booth. When I'm writing. It's all freedom. I feel you. Mm hmm. Can I ask you a question, my man? Yeah. I was just wondering. So when did, what age did you first first started dancing? Six years old. Six? Yeah. Wow. I have my inspirations with Michael Jackson, Bruno Mars. Everybody, yeah. Chris you're a dancer, Brown. you can't. Yeah. yeah if you're a dancer, you, you can't do? not fuck with You do, you like do. That. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I remember I used to go to my grandma's house and at my grandma's house, my aunt, she used to play Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, all the time on the TV, you know, on demand type shit. Bro. On demand? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm on me back, bro. Search, yeah. search the music videos on there. Um, I my, did the same thing. Yeah, my first, my first one that I ever did was the, you know, Bruno Mars Treasure? Treasure. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. That one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah, that, uh, I went. I looked at the video and I would watch it. Then, you know how you could like slow it down sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, like it was like, 50, I don't know what it was, 1.5, 2 times, 3 times type shit. Mm -hmm. I would slow it down and I would try to see like every move and try to copy it, try to imitate it, you know, and try to mirror it. So then mm -hmm. when I would do it, you know, I would just be able to do it. You know the Beat It? Beat It by Michael Jackson? Who doesn't know? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't know what you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All, all that, all that, I was, you know, I, I would just watch, just watch, and then, you know, do it myself, too. You, you know, know what's crazy? I do the same thing, but I did it with, uh, I did it with, uh, with whatchamacallit, not beat it, it was, uh, 
Billie Good. Jean. Did Billie it with that. That, was my, that was my shit. I saw and then Rock with you. You saw that, mm -hmm. that, that video? I used to copy his moves. He was like all glittery suit. Oh yeah, and he's um he's just like him on stage and then yeah. black yeah. all everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I used to copy. But I don't know exactly what you're saying. Like that's how I got into music, like but like fucking music, like I listen to everything. Like country, fucking uh, Florida Georgia line, I just listen to them. Mm -hmm. I, I you know I used to love a lot of techno music too. Like really? EDM. Like you no know, Are you like EDM? I don't know I don't know Dead Mouse EDM, but yeah, like mm -hmm. that's you know uh Dead mouse, like no. yeah, like like a big ass mouse thing on it, on it, like a big ass mouse mask mm -hmm. on his on his head. Nah, to be honest, I, I don't really like. Either. Oh, you don't know, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I listen to Skrillex. Oh yeah, Skrillex, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of um, indie rock like uh, uh MGMT. Uh, fucking mm -hmm. who else I listened to as a kid? I, I, as a little nigga, um, obviously Coldplay. I uh, remix one of their songs. Mm -hmm. Um, fucking uh. What's the group called? I seen We Are Young. Oh, that one. We yeah. Are Young. Yeah, and then Fox of People. I listen to a lot of that shit, you know? Mm. So, I know exactly what you mean by just watching and studying. That's all I did. Mm. I just wanted to go on YouTube, grab my mom's phone, go on YouTube and just. Get study. to watch, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel me? Just study shit, bro. Mm -hmm. All I did. I feel like that's how like prodigies are born, bro. Yeah. The people who are actually like those kids that are just that are searching shit up, bro. Random shit, bro. Getting into it and like starting young, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know? that's how you know it's for you. If you if you're just intrigued with it, just by watch, just like by yourself, just watching it. Mm -hmm. Like nobody has to tell me to watch fucking who's the artist right now? That's killing it. Name the artist. Little baby. Little baby, yeah. No, nobody tell you to watch Little Baby or watch fucking like Danny Smith, Willow Smith, like just like the no, my favorite kind of artists are like the weird people. I love weird mm. music. Like I don't know why that's my shit. Like I love weird and different music. That's why I love Joe Ron. Ron. His music is so just different, you know. And then three times just a fucking he, that even spit, bro. And then obviously Jeff Paul has hits too. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like, like. That's my thing, like just being different all around. That's I'm so different. Like, all I looked at, and all I loved was different music. So I don't know how to not do different music if that. You feel me? No, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but then just studying, bro. That, that's what it takes, bro. Because you have to like sit down and learn before you can do, like mm -hmm. crawl before you walk, you know, walk before mm -hmm. you run type shit. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so it, basically, they're saying like it takes years of practice to get to where you where you are, man. You say, I would say that. I won't say years of practice, but it takes practice, don't get me wrong, but years of practice seems kind of much of a stretch. If it's in you, it's in you, you know? Hmm. If it's in you, it, it's going to get out regardless. Like, really? if I wasn't meant to be a rapper or an artist, I wouldn't be here right in front of you. If you wasn't meant to be the dancer, the icon that you are, you wouldn't be here right in front of me. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be doing what we're doing to get to our goals. We wouldn't be here. We're halfway there. Think about it. You know? Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't have invested all this money into this shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We wouldn't have been on flyers. We wouldn't have been invited to these shows if, you know, if it wasn't already in us. You know? It's in us. Interesting. Yeah, it's Interesting. in us. All. It's all about how you want to go about it. Mm. You know? You kind of have to bring it out, too. You know? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's in you. It, that's why, that's why even with the injury, you still can fucking dance better than half these niggas out here. <laughs> you feel me? It's in you naturally, bro. Uh -huh. Damn. Because I, because when people say like, damn, how are you a great dancer? I usually tell them, you know, it's just years of practice, you know? Yeah. That's what I usually say because I have been dancing since I was six. I'm 21, so it's 15 years. It's been in you since you were six. Mm. And because it's in you, it makes you want to practice. Makes you want to practice. Mm. Makes you want. Makes you want to practice and look and learn new shit because it's in you. You know. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. I never thought of it like that. No, that's. Like it's like think about it. it's it's in certain people to be a doctor. It's in certain people to be to be a therapist. You ever talk to somebody that's like naturally that have like like a calming tone? Like you just feel like you just talk about anything. It's because it's already in them, bro. I'm not saying because anybody can do anything they want to do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like. But you you know when it's in you, when it's not in you. You know, you can see you can tell when some people some people are forcing shit. 
and when it's like their purpose. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. If it wasn't your purpose, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. Nobody would be you see, where they're at right now if it wasn't their purpose. Mm-hmm. But for some people, it might take a while, you feel me, to find To find it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We were just fortunate enough to find it when we were young, you know? Yeah. Some people don't even know that they have talent. They're just too scared to, find, to express it. Mm-hmm. Or they just simply just do not know. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Some people just didn't, didn't know that they can sing, or they can rap, or they can dance, or they can be a creative person. Some mm-hmm. people just don't, they rush it. Some people just do not know. You know, for whatever reason. What do you I think? No idea. What do you think it would take for them to actually find it out? To find out that they have. Mm-hmm. For the people who don't know, you know, what would you say is like something that they can do? Well, just try if to you don't try know, shit out? if you don't know, then you don't know. That's unfortunate for you, and sooner or later somebody's gonna point it out to you that you have talent. You know, and some people are just blind to it. But if you don't know that you do not know, like if that makes sense, like if you don't know, like if you're skeptical about it, I would say get inspired, bro. Change mm-hmm. your environment. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. if I would have never came to Washington, I would have never been rapping. That's right. That's right. You know. That's right. Yeah. Like, but I, and I did a drama back in high school too. Mm-hmm. So if I could never not act, I would have never been. I would never want to be an actor. Mm-hmm. Or never been acting. You know, if you get what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Never want to do skits or. Whatever, whatever, you know. Mm. I say the best thing for you to do, bro, is change your environment. Mm. Look around you, get inspired, you know, because there's more than what you see in front of you. There's a whole world. Mm. There's a whole world, mm. you know. I see. So it's like, get inspired, bro. And it don't cost no money to be inspired. It don't mm. cost, and then, now we live in a day and age where there's internet, so look up shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, Change yeah. what you watch. Instead of just watching... I'm 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 bad at this. But I only watch one shit every fucking day. But like, no, I say, you know, you know, like, instead of watching that same program or that same TV show, watch a different TV show. See how you react to that. You know. Interesting. Like, just change what you do to see, to push your limits on where you could go. You know? mm, I like that. I like that. Mm, interesting. Yeah, it's right. Spicy, <laughs> bro. God damn, that's right. It's so fucking spicy. You think they put fucking Tabascos? They put pepper in that shit. They have to. Really? You think so? I I. You think so? <laughs> I don't. Cause it's so fucking spicy. Really? Bro. I don't. I don't drink soda to be honest. You're a way better man than I am. <laughs> we do it. You make me look bad, man. I'm drinking. No, that. no, it's 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 fine. It's all good. I fucking eat do. junk food and drink soda all the time, bro. Yeah, I mean, if you ever want, just start small. If you ever want to change your habits. What do you drink? Just water. I just drink water, man. Just water. Just water. You bro. put like fruits in your water? Or no, 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 no. No. Yikes. I can never just drink water. Really? It's boring. Not like that. I need some juice, I mean, it, I'm not going to lie. It did be boring, but like... Yeah, I, discipline, I, right? Yeah, I, discipline. And, you know, I learned to love just drinking water, you know? You know? You're going to live a long life. <laughs> <laughs> That's also what I want I, I you know, want to do, too. You, you want to stay healthy, huh? Stay healthy, you know? Yeah. Because all this thing, all these young foods, yeah, like, yeah, it's cool. It tastes great, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. like, the lasting effects, like, when you're older, you're going to feel like... Compared, like, say someone was to live like a healthy life, living, you know, junk, no, no junk food, just eating, you know, vegetables and all that healthy food. They, they're gonna feel great when they're like fifty, you know, 60, forty, 70, sixty, you know. Yeah, they are. But say like someone who's like just eating junk food all the time. Like, they hope I eat me. They're gonna go, ah, damn, my back. I'm only thirty-two. Yeah, <laughs> you know? but. You know, I just don't want to make it seem like you're alone here, cause you can you can really change this habit if you don't like what you're doing. You know, change. You know, you can change. It. I like it. I don't like it. I love the way it tastes, but yeah, I do be thinking like, damn, am I gonna get fat? Cause a lot like I, I grew up skinny as fuck, mm-hmm. and I still skinny to this day. Bro. Mm-hmm. There's a room like there's like a thing like you ever notice how like skinny people they be so skinny when, like when they're like nineteen, twenty, and all of a sudden at twenty four they just. Like become obese and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, think like damn, like I don't want to be obese when I'm fucking in my twenties, so. At some point, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna start working out and eating healthier. But right now, fuck it, bro. Yeah. I, I gotta eat a burger. No, that's cool. I was gonna probably go vegetarian. I thought about that. Try, it, you know. I, yeah. I, me, I like to think about the la- like long term effects. Yeah. You know, I don't like short term sensation. You know, all this. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's just me. That's just me. But then, I don't know how vegetarians do it, bro. Like, I have to have a piece of chicken, bro. Not for real. No, I understand. <laughs> Not like that, but like chicken goes so good with a biscuit, bro. With a biscuit? With a biscuit, oh, bro. Uh, or like a chicken sandwich, bro. Uh huh, chicken sandwich. Have- exactly. That what? Is so good, you gonna bro. stop that? Like, hey, oh, no hate to be vegetarian. No, no hate, bro. <laughs> like, how do you do that? I'm, I'm really like, how do you do that? Like, yeah. Like, dang, yeah. bro. Like, they have some serious. Excuse me, some serious discipline they can give up. Like, not for real. That is discipline. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. Growing up, this was all I was eating, you know? Mm. Junk food. Um, I really stopped eating like junk food, like I got braces in eighth grade. You did? Yeah, okay. so that's when I was eating hella junk food before that, drinking soda almost every night. A can of soda, Sprite. Mm-hmm. You know my parents would have like a can of or you know those twelve packs yeah. in, the, in the garage or something. And I would just go in there every night, just grabbing. Yeah. And then it took, you know, my braces, they said that you can't really drink soda, you can't be eat, drinking all this because it'll affect your teeth and shit, you know? Oh. So I was like, nah, I, you know? So that's where I stopped drinking soda. Mm. That's where I was like, yeah, I'm not going to drink soda. But then, you know, after I got my braces done, I still continued that because I was like, hmm, I don't, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I want I want to live a life where I don't drink soda, to be honest, because soda is not good. In my eyes, soda is not good. You know, I barely drink soda. Mm-hmm. Like, I do, like, around with McDonald's, but, like, whenever I go to, like, grocery stores or buy groceries, like, I personally, like, pick out juice. I don't ever pick out, like, Fanta or, or like, a Sprite. Mm-hmm. I always pick out juice. Juice is cool, too. I, I would, love juice. I would drink apple juice, orange juice, you know, I'd switch between yeah. those two. Milk okay. here and there, you feel me? Milk, hell no. How about juice? Do you drink it by itself? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't drink milk right now, but I'm saying, like, when I was younger. Would you? By itself? By itself. Um, if I really feel like it and I really don't want to drink water, I would drink a glass of milk. Oh, yes, right. Milk is disgusting. <laughs> milk is nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Yeah, man. Eating healthy. Yeah. That's the goal, man. Mm-hmm. But everybody needs to eat healthy. For real. Mm-hmm. That's the goal, not me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think it's been an hour. Uh, is there really anything else you want to talk about? You know. Uh, is there anything we haven't talked about, Z? Uh, is there anything I haven't talked about? Actually, about you, how, how you became and you asked how I became. Mm-hmm. We talked about, you know, not being afraid of potential stuff and just going for it. I think that's a wrap. I don't know. Okay. You tell me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Um, as a timestamp, uh, we ask this for everyone, you know, from a year from now uh, or two years now. You can see your progress if you achieve this or not. Yeah. Uh, what is your biggest goal right now? What is, What are some of your goals right now? My biggest goal right now. Sorry. My biggest goal right now is to put effort on the map. Effort on the map. Like okay. how YJ did with Beecher, Michigan. Nobody knows what the fuck I, I, Beecher was. No. Or Flint, Michigan, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I want to be the one that makes ever a cool place to be. Cause every time I like say like I like I don't be long winded, but say like I will fuck with a girl, right? And I be like, yo, what's up? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm from Kent. Where you from? Uh, Everett. And she'll be like, Everett. <laughs> you feel me? Laugh on my face. You feel me? I want people to think of Everett like, oh, I gotta go there. Oh, it's, it's gonna be hella lit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I want to be the one person that makes Everett, that makes Everett proud, really. Mm-hmm. You know, put them on the map, make it. A, Make it a cool place to be. No, that's right. That's right. Um. Oh yeah. Do you want? Do you want to shout out anyone before uh, we wrap it up? Yeah, man. Shout out all my brothers, man. Shout out YWFJ, YWF JJ, YWF Jamari, YWF Petro, YWF Drew, YWF Gabe. Shout out my dad. I love you, dad. And my dad got got some music on the way too. Y'all go mm. tap into that. My dad got a, got a nice video out right now. Cost Seduction. Y'all go tap into that too. Shout out my mom, I love you. Shout out my um, my little brother, my little sisters. You know, uh, shout out Z. One time for the fun time. That's my right hand <laughs> sis right there, man. <laughs> and uh, you know, shout out everybody who tap into me, man. Love y'all, man. Peace. Oh, you want to shout out your Instagram real quick too? Yeah, shout out. My bad. Shout out uh, Jericho too. My <laughs> no bad. I'm tripping. <laughs> shout out Chris City, yeah. Jericho, Verada, all of them, bro. The whole the whole nine. So my Instagram is Prince Jamani. That's Prince. Dot J A H M A H N I as J A H M A H N I. You feel me? So y'all tap that in, follow me or whatever. I'll follow back. 
And uh, yeah, let's go crazy, man. Love. Yeah, make sure to tune in. Um, uh, oh yeah, and uh, thank you guys for uh, for joining or listening to our podcast. Thank you for coming, make it to the end, man. Uh huh. And I'm a catch all. <laughs> <laughs>